Everybody and welcome back to my channel so I do want to apologize I do have my window open so if you guys hear some noise there is a nice breeze that's running through they are kind of doing construction in my neighborhood so sorry uh, I want to quickly talk about what I'm wearing on my nails I am wearing a manicure using the essence gel polishes in the color amazed by you and my sparkling darling and then on my lips I am wearing the L'Oreal infallible pro matte lip gloss in the color bare attraction so let's go ahead and get started with some of my makeup favorites um, I'm gonna start off with some cheek products that I was absolutely loving in the month of May I picked up this essence Sun matte bronzing powder this is the lighter skin one and the color zero one natural I have been loving this bronzer. One of the reasons I've been loving this bronzer is because it is an exact dupe for the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And this also smells like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's very, very smooth, very, very silky. So it actually may be a little powdery. That is one thing I did notice is that it does kick up a lot of powder, but I don't mind that it kicks up a lot of powder. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous bronzer and it's very, very cheap. This is Essence. It is a lot cheaper than Physicians Formula. I think the butter bronzer is like, I don't know, like $12, $15, something like that. I also wanna talk about these two. I actually haven't hauled these. These are from Dose of Colors. These are their baked highlighters. This one is in the color Peach Glow. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous peach color. These are very, very shimmery, but not like chunky glitter. So you're just left with this gorgeous, gorgeous sheen. And this one is like a golden peach color. I didn't get the gold one because I thought it was going to be too, there's like a goldy bronzy one. I thought it was going to be too dark for my skin tone, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's not super intense. Like it's not like straight metallic in your face. This one right here is in the color pearl dust and it's the pinky one and I got this because I actually don't have that many pinky highlights I have a lot of gold tone highlights but I don't have that many pinky highlights and this one looked really really pretty online so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and it is this beautiful like pearly pink color like I said these are not chunky they're very smooth they're baked highlighters you get a lot of product in them I think these are definitely worth getting it I'm thinking about picking up the third one which is like the more bronzy gold one because I really liked the formula of these so much and I have two blushes to share with you guys today. These are both from Essence. These are the Essence Satin Touch Blushes. This one right here is in the color Satin Coral. This is number 10. And I think they only have two shades of these online. This is number 10. And then this is number 20, which is Satin Love, which is more like a nudie color. Really, really pretty everyday color. These are very, very pigmented, even more pigmented than the Silky Touch blushes, but they wear a little bit longer than the Silky Touch blushes. I really hope they come out with more shades because these are just absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors. So those are them right there. I hope they come out with more. So then the next favorite I have, let's go ahead and go into eyeshadows. This is more like an eyeshadow palette. This is from Tarte. These are the double duty, double duty palettes, the eye and cheek palette. And this one is in classic courage this is pretty much like the neutral palette so this has neutral eyeshadows and then a blush i really love the blush in this the blush in here is so silky smooth this has been the palette that if I didn't know what to do, I pretty much went to this because I was able to create such a beautiful look every single time this I wore this. And on top of that, every time I wore this, people complimented me on my eye look. It just feels really good when people compliment you on your eye look. So again, I've really been loving that palette. And then my other eyeshadow favorites have actually been the ColourPop eyeshadows. I pretty much picked up every single ColourPop eyeshadow, except for some of the like brighter and more bold colors because I have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and that has a lot of those really intense blues and those really intense purples. I typically don't use those colors on an everyday basis, so I didn't feel the need to pick up, you know, any of those colors. I haven't hauled any of these for you guys, but I'm sure you guys have seen these. I don't really have a particular favorite. I really like both their matte 
mattes and their shimmery shadows. I think the formula of these is really, really good. And I especially love these like plum colors. I know, I know these are like more fall appropriate colors, but the formula is just so good. And at first I was going to invest and get a whole bunch of Makeup Geek shadows, but then when I saw that ColourPop released these shadows and I heard so many people raving about them, ColourPop, I think these are only $5 a pan and ColourPop has seals all the time. So I was able to get a lot of these on sale and I'm so glad that I did. I really, really, really been loving these single shadows. These are pretty much the only single shadows that I own. I do have one more Z palette, but those have like some of the Makeup Geek foiled shadows and then the duochrome shadows. So let's go ahead and finish up with lips. This is from Mello. This is their matte lipstick in the color Nude. I got this in an Ipsy bag last month and I love this lipstick. This is what the color looks like. It's a perfect nude lipstick. This wears for such a long time, has such a nice color payoff, and it kind of seems to set on your lips, but it doesn't dry your lips out like most matte lipstick. This has a very, very creamy formula. Now, a color I've been loving to pair with this, I don't have it with me, is my NARS Velvet Glide uh, lipstick in the color Bound. It is kind of the perfect creamy topper to go over the matte lipstick and it'll revive this color. It's not going to give it a very glossy look. The velvet glides are a little bit of a satin finish so it's kind of perfect the perfect topper to wear with this once the color starts to wear down and kind of wear off throughout the day. I love pairing this with Bound. I can go all day with just wearing this and then retouching it halfway through the day with Bound. I love this lipstick, I may go and buy every single color that Mellow Cosmetics has in this matte formula because it is really, really good. I'm in love with the formula. I'm in love with the formula, but I'm gonna stop blabbing about this one and get on to my last two products. I have one of these from the Fruity Juicy Collection. I recently picked this up. I only picked up two things from the Fruity Juicy Collection, which is why I didn't do a haul for you guys. I picked up the blush, like the compact um, powder, and I picked up one of these. These are the Cream Sheen uh, glass, the glasses. These are their lip glosses. And first of all, the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I really love the packaging, but I picked up this one in the color Cha Cha Cha. This is the, pe the peachy one. I have tried uh, Max lip glasses before, and I, I normally don't like the formula of them. So that's what the color looks like right there. I actually am wearing a little bit of this on top of the... I actually am wearing a little bit of this on top of the uh, lipstick that I have on today. I love the formula of these cream sheen glasses. But these are a lot smoother. They're still a little bit thick and just a little bit sticky, but I, quite honestly, I don't think they're as sticky as the regular lip glasses. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is actually from Marc Jacobs. These are the Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Lacquers. This one is in the color Pink Flamingo. This is one of my favorites from the set. This is a very, very similar formula to the MAC Cream Sheen glasses where they're a little bit thick but not super sticky. The set comes with all of these colors. This one does have a little bit more like tint to it, but I wouldn't say it's fully opaque. I don't think you could wear it on its own, but it does come with a nice variety of scents. So you have a pinky color, a hot pink color. This purple one has a little bit of gold shimmer to it, and then this one is a peachy color. And I wanna say it's around the 20 $25, $30 mark. Another set that I think is worth picking up because it also has a Marc, ja Marc Jacobs lip gloss in it is one of the newer lip sets from the Sephora, the Sephora Favorites lip sets. That actually has the lip gloss in the color Sugar Sugar in it. So now I have five Marc Jacobs lip glosses to try out and I spent about the same amount of money that I would have on just one Marc Jacobs lip gloss. So I definitely think this set is worth it. I know they have one with full size lip glosses and that's around like the 50 something um, price mark. I actually got that set and I returned it because I didn't really like the colors in there. So that's it. Those are all of my makeup favorites for the month of May. I hope you guys find this video helpful. I do try to give you guys kind of mini, mini reviews and why I like the products so much. 
Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am currently posting three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.